What's up guys, my name is Joel Sam. I know a lot of you are wondering whether this channel is still active or whether I still trade at all. Well, the news is that I trade. But the reason I've been away for so long is that apart from work and school, I made a lot of terrible mistakes in my trading career and that led to a little bit of decrease in confidence. It wasn't so much that I was depressed but that I did not feel I was the right person to be out there educating people about trading. But I've learned from these mistakes and what I've also come to realize is that it's not about putting myself on this platform as some sort of trading guru but as an ordinary person taking this trading journey making mistakes learning from them and sharing all these experiences with you as I make them and so in the spirit of this today I'm going to be talking to you about the four or five big mistakes I have made on my trading journey and what I have learned from them. So if you're interested, if you are still interested in me, if trading is something that you do and you are still interested in trading, well, you may want to stay tuned. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing is greed, okay? Greed is something that is a huge part of us as human beings. It is one of those mysteries we cannot fully comprehend. It's just a part of us and what we have to learn how to do at the end of the day is manage our greed and it is in managing it that hopefully we will be able to eradicate it. Now, in my trading career, greed is something that has consumed me so much and has led to me losing so much because what happened was that anytime I made money, I felt there was much more I could do beyond what I had made. So. I would violate my trading plan for the day. I will violate the, you know, threshold I have given myself. So for example, if I say every day, I want to make $1,000 and then I make $1,000 so quickly and very easily, maybe in less than, you know, 15 minutes, I've made the $1,000. Then I become greedy. I'm like, well, if I could make $1,000 in this very short amount of time, let me try $10,000. Let me try $50,000, okay? And it is in this greed that I just end up losing or I just ended up losing every single thing I had worked for. So as traders, greed is something that we are going to be faced with a lot and we'll need to learn how to manage that temptation and completely eradicate it from our trading lives. I think now I am at a point where I have completely vanquished my greed. I think there's still room for improvement, but I'm no longer that person who is going to be violating his daily threshold. I'm no longer going to be that person chasing the market for more and more and more when I have made just what is enough, okay? So that is the first lesson I learned. The second lesson I have learned from my trading journey is patience. You know, sometimes we are in so much of a hurry to make money, we are in so much of a, a hurry to meet our goals and our targets that we are not patient to go through the process and learn. There were instances where I purchased a funded account and instead of waiting, maybe I'll purchase the funded account on a Friday. Instead of waiting the weekend out, you know, properly sitting down and strategizing which course of action I was going to take and plan properly my trades for the coming week. Because I was so desperate to, you know, hit the five day target on my Forex funds so that I can get the roll account as quickly as possible. I will place a trade on that very Friday I have purchased the account. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Instead of taking the patience or having the patience to strategize and really map out a plan of action, I will just place that first trade, okay? And I'll not even use a modest lot size. I'll use something that will put my account in jeopardy, all because I want to make sure that I am already taking the first day off so that when Monday comes, the days have gone quickly and then I can easily get the demo account done with and then have my funded account. And this patience cost me so much. It cost me so many of my funded accounts. It cost me a lot of money and i've come to learn and appreciate that trading is a game of patience you really need to know when to trade if the market doesn't prepare or present any opportunity you need to learn how to stay away and strategize for when a good opportunity will present itself so that you can capitalize on it so this is a very important lesson i've learned and i hope that those of you out there still trading still struggling to make it 
or learn it as well and will not end up in the situation that I was in. Another very big lesson I have learned is not to trade for people. So during my trading career, in the brief number of years I've been trading, I have made the mistake on a few occasions to trade for people. And you know, it comes with its own level of pressure and distraction. And because of that, you are going to make so many mistakes. And that is what happened to me more or less of the time. And so there were instances where, of course, because of my greed, I will lose people's funds. And then I would have to then trade with my own funds and all the profits I make, I would have to end up using it to pay the people back because I didn't want to leave a bad mark or a bad name in people's consciences. I didn't want to be that trader who took someone's money to trade for the person blew the person's account and then left the person stranded so i would use my own funds or i will trade and the profits that i make that i should enjoy i would end up using to pay or refund people their money some of the people didn't even know that i had lost their money others knew and then they had the patience um, for me to you know refund them but most people didn't know and i don't know for me, I have taken the decision that I'm no longer going to be trading people's funds for them because it comes with a lot of pressure and that pressure causes you to make a lot of silly mistakes and to make up for those silly mistakes, you are going to have to spend so much money and at the end of the day, it's just a lose-lose situation for you and the person you are trading for. Now, if anyone wants me to trade for them, what I'm going to tell them is take the time to really learn how to trade because it's an invaluable skill that is going to yield you benefits so don't be chasing traders around trade for me trade for me trade for me trade for me learn the skill yourself and i think that would even put you in the best position to take very good trades that will give you very good returns and you know make you happy give you the kind of returns you are expecting some other trader to give you so this is a very important lesson i've learned from this mistake that i made i'm not going to be trading for people anymore ever again now the next mistake i made and the lesson i took from it which is quite related to what i've already spoken about was the pressure to hit targets okay sometimes the targets could be you know someone has asked me to trade for them and i've promised that i can make 20 percent on the person's money at the end of the month or at the end of three months so that came with pressure sometimes too it was pressure i put on myself from things that i wanted oh i want to trade and make this much money so that i can do a b c d or i can do e f j h and so i will put so much pressure on myself instead of taking my time to trade properly and then to really analyze the market well i will be burdened with pressure to make an x amount of money or an, a y amount of money just so that i can meet certain goals and aspirations and i just want to you know offer the advice from the experience i've gone through approach trading with a very open mind do not enter trading with the idea that you must make so much money in a certain period of time probably because you want to buy a car or you want to buy a house or you want to do this or you want to do that do not put that kind of pressure on yourself just take your time be open to the market calculate your risk well which i'll talk about in the next point and take very good prudent trades okay just get rid of the pressure because once you have that pressure on you you are going to make so many mistakes that is a fact and I know a lot of people have so many dreams and goals and aspirations. There are so many things we want to do. We want to buy this, we want to buy that, we want to do this for our parents, we want to do this for our spouses or our partners. And so we are in a, a bit of a hurry to make money. But I just want to tell you that as far as trading is concerned, you shouldn't be in a hurry to do anything because that sort of pressure you put on yourself Will cost you dearly finally the last lesson i have learned which i believe is the most important lesson is risk management because without risk management you can have a very good setup i mean 
90% of the time, my setups were very good setups. The market went in my direction. But because I will not calculate my risk properly, all in a bid to make so much money in so little time, before, you know, the price or the market can even get halfway towards my stop loss, I have blown my account. I have lost so much money or I have violated you know my threshold for my funded account and so i i will lose the account it will be taken away from me all because i did not respect risk okay i have a ten thousand dollar account or a twenty thousand dollar account and then i am using you know 5.0 lot size per trade 10 standard lots per trade because i feel i mean it's so much money that i can make so much of and i'm so confident in my position or in my directional bias not taking note of the fact that the market can retrace a bit before going my direction and if i do not calculate risk well to give my account that room to accommodate that small retracement i'll lose my account or i'll lose my challenge that's a, a very important lesson i've learned that i want to share with you calculate your risk very well and in subsequent videos i'm going to be talking about risk management and how to calculate risk and all of that it is so so important that you calculate your risk because risk management is the difference between making it faking it and not making it at all as far as trading is concerned there are a lot of people out there faking it there are a lot of people out there not making it all because of risk management i have been in that position i have made that mistake and i have learned from it and so I feel it's important that you really take risk management to heart. There are videos out there on YouTube, countless of them, that can take you through the rudiments of proper risk management as far as trading is concerned. But I hope to put out videos of my own, you know, thoroughly going through risk management so that we learn together, we grow together. That has been the idea from day one. And eventually, would make money together so guys thank you so much for listening to me these are the top five lessons mistakes and lessons that i have learned over the course of my very short trading career and a bit of an explanation for why i had been away for so long thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video